y'all. Good morning. Welcome to my channel, Dougie Shaven. It's raining here in Central Texas. We have a surplus of rain this year, which I guess is good because, you know, it's come summertime, it, it, everything dries up. Stuff. So I have my Farrah blend. This is the breakfast blend here, which is a medium to light body coffee, which I really like. Um, got to have a quick shave today. Be starting off with my gentleman's nod. Nice unscented pre-shave. And the soap of the day. Barbershop de los Muertos. And this is one of my favorites. This is my Dovo. Number 98 Soligen. I acquired this from the captain, Lather Me Whiskers. It's an absolute beautiful, beautiful blade, 24 karat gold on that mother of pearl. And for my brush, Woodland Sticks Voodoo Ray. Gotta love this bad boy. It actually, it feels really good in the hand. I mean, it's per it, the, the, the skull is just perfect to hold on to. So, uh, got to get this shave going on. Get some hot water on the face. I got to get out to the club and work on the putting surface for at least a couple of hours. My putter and I have been not getting along at all. So I need to, uh, I need to get out there and work on my triangle, get that, and my lag putting. I'm not one of those guys that sticks it close all the time. So, you know, whatever gets it in the hole was watching the match with Phil Mickelson and Bryson DeChambeau and um, the quarterbacks. And that was a lot of fun to watch. They actually made a lot of free meals for people in need, which is absolutely wonderful news for that. Um, really love this brush. It's a synthetic, um, but for a digital brush, it works really well. Feels good on the face. Kay at a Woodland Sticks, check her out on Etsy. Uh, she's got a lot of really cool stuff. You know, she, uh, she sculpts out the thing and then casts it uh, in whatever she, whatever she's doing. But, uh, oh, really great lather. Um, and, and a great person too. Uh, she really worked with me and she puts out a really great product. This brush is really awesome. And the scent on this, now this is, uh, this is number one. I have both offerings from Murphy and McNeil. And this is a Rafa and Bill Graham of Murphy and McNeil collaboration. Um, and uh, just the scent on this is incredible. I, I forget it's a tribute to one type of, of, of stuff, but I'm not exactly sure what it is, but uh, phenomenal scent. Really, really nice lather. Yeah, so uh, the boys are at the John Deere Classic this week. Everybody's playing golf out there. And uh, a lot of the guys, they go ahead and skip the John Deere and go right out and play the Scottish Open so they can get their uh, body set for the British Open or the Open, what it's just called now. Oh, 
Ah, great edge. Great edge on this guy. Feels really good. Super sharp. I just uh, put it um, on my English bridal strop here. This is my Imperia La Roca. I love this thing. I've got five different strops in my den and uh, this is by far my favorite. English bridal, uh, good stuff. Can't, can't be hating on it. Real nice feedback on this uh, this blade. Feels really good. Now I'm a uh, I'm a before and after stropper. And a lot of guys say that's just too much. But I'd swear there's stuff left on on the 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 blade when you get done with it. So, you know, immediately I I clean it up and then I I go right on it uh right onto the strop with it so I can store it, you know. Got a few bumps I'm probably gonna cut off, but what can you do? Been one of those things. It's summertime. I'm sweating out there all the time. Mm, man, just the glide on this. Well, no soap on it. It's really, really wonderful. I gotta say, it's just such a thick lather. A little bit with Murphy and McNeil goes a long way. I gotta tell you. Stuff just blows up louder. It's just like, boom. Yeah, my putter and I, we haven't been getting along lately. So I'm taking it on a date today. We're gonna go out, just me and my putter onto the putting surface. And it's, ra it's rainy out, so, you know, I just gotta work on my form, get that triangle a little set, work on my lag putting. Try to get something happening. Cause there's no reason to fight, no reason to fight with your putter. But uh, we played this, this golf course in Dallas called Tribute. And it's uh, a tribute, it's 18 holes of exact replicas of what they have out on the European tour. And you wanna talk about respect for the course, man. I learned that really quick out there. Um, I'm not sure where the Scottish is being held. But um, those those uh, open courses out there are so difficult. I mean, if you do not find the fairway, you're in trouble. And uh, one of the things that I keep finding is that um, the uh, 
greens over there, they're so undulating that it makes it really difficult To, to put on um, and read because, you know, I'm, I'm sitting here looking at one and I darn well know that that, that, that hole is going to go I bump right there. It's going to break to the right and sure enough, that sucker breaks uphill and goes to the left and I'm like, how the heck did that happen? That is against the laws of gravity. Unima. But that's golf. It's a four letter word, folks. That it is. And what can you do, man? Just try to get better. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be smelling good out on the golf course today. I'll tell you that right now. Man, great two passes. I just uh, touched the Dovo up on my 1200 Naniwa, and uh, she is singing gorgeously. And then I have the premium. Uh, Imperial LaRocca, which they say is like a 1600 grit, 16,000. But golly, man, there's so much soap. <laughs> This stuff just goes for days. What's up? I ain't complaining. I'm one of those guys that likes more soap than less. You know what I mean? I like to have, I like to have a lot more going on for me. I'm hoping the rains hold off for this weekend because I really want to do an outdoor, outdoor shave. I get myself there. That's where that bump was. Well, not a bump anymore. Um, I want to do an outdoor shade, you know, go for a nice little hike in the woods and, uh, and shave out, shave outdoors. See all these guys doing it and I'm like, you know, I want to try that. That's that looks fun. I guess there's something to being outside, you know. We got a lot of great little trails around here that I can get to. I 
I gotta work on my exfoliating regimen here. I got bumps all over my face. But I find once you cut them off with the straight razor, they're done. <laughs> they're pretty much done. Ooh, nice cheeks. Mm. I love this scent. Man, that guy gets close. I like that there's no irritation on your face either after you shave with your straight. Little cold water rinse. Ah, love that feel. There we go. Beautiful. I got uh, all my Pro V1s marked up with the little line on it so I can get them. There's, this is the unscented. I'm trying to kill this bottle. I'm almost there. You yeah, got all my Pro V's lined up real nice. I did my neck this morning too in the shower. I'm hoping all these bumps go away. One there, one there, one there. I just got to work on my regular exfoliating regimen because I've been letting that go lately. I just, just don't have the time. And we're finishing it up with the matching splash. Oh, good. Yeah, you see blood on this channel, folks. I don't hide it. <laughs> That's just the way it is, man. If it happens, it happens. I keep it real. Oh, yeah. That smells really good. Mm. And I just shaved my neck. So... I'm not setting any time records for this one today, so it doesn't matter. Um, the Pinot Club Man Powder. Um, it's a very nice powdery, powdery scent, and it it keeps the back of the neck dry where I just shaved it, and offers a nice fresh scent too as well. So. Folks, thank you so much for joining me on my channel, Dougie Shaven. I really hope you guys have an awesome day, and I'll see you again real soon.